What's up YouTube? Back with another quick video on these daytime running lights for the MDX. Okay, that didn't open. Oh. Now, if you're looking to get an upgrade for your factory yellow boring halogen daytime running lights, I'll show you how to do it. This is a 2010, but I believe all in this body style should be the same process. I think its body style goes up to 12 or 13 or something like that. See, the old boring yellow halogens with the new nice and bright pretty LEDs. They look like this. Let's people see you better when you're coming in traffic. And it makes the car look more modern as well. Okay. What you want to do is turn your wheel all the way in, all the way to the left, to the driver's side. Then you have one screw here, Phillips head screw. Take that out. And you have one 10 millimeter bolt under here. Take that out. I already loosened it up so I could just make this video quicker for you guys. Okay. This part is fairly easy, but you really can't see what you're doing, so you kind of got to feel your way in there. There is, if you can see it, that blue plug back there in the back. Right there, that blue plug. That's the one you're going for. Because there's two lights in here. One is your fog light and one is your daytime running light. You're replacing that. I mean, you can replace the fog light while you're in there if you have another set of LEDs, but I already did those. Um, this is the one you're going for, this, the farthest one. So, you're going to have to just feel for it. The one that's furthest away. Feel in there for it once you grab it. If you can unplug the wire harness, that'll make it a lot easier. But if you can't, just turn it all as one. You're going to go in there and turn it counterclockwise and then pull it out. And now it's out. Then you want to just unplug it. And you want to just unplug it. You might need two hands for that, but I'm, I've am i been doing this for a while, so I'm pretty good at it with just, just one hand. Because <laughs> what you're doing is these little tabs here. You want to go in there and turn it counterclockwise and then pull it out. That's what you want to do. And install the new one the same way. Once again, you got a feel for it. Get it in there, turn it clockwise, and it's seated. Then you plug your wire harness up, and it should come right on. It doesn't come on, you just turn it over the opposite way. There it goes, comes right on. I got it right the first time. Make sure you hear that wire harness click into place. They're not flickering in person. I know you see it on the video, but that's just the way it looks on the video. I don't know why they do that on camera. But in person, they're perfectly still and focused beams. So, that's all done and all set and all good to go. Once you get done with that, do the other thing on the other. Do the, do the same process on the other side. Turn your wheel all the way to the right, and you're good to go. Once they're installed, make sure they work and everything. Make sure they work, and you're good to go. I'm gonna upgrade the headlights and all that too. Turn signals, make them all LEDs. This is 2021. We need to keep our lights all modern. Get rid of those old dull yellow halogen lights. Once you're done, you put your cover back in there. Make sure it goes on the inside. And then put your screw in and then your 10 millimeter bolt down here. That easy. No need to remove the whole splash thing, the bumper, all that. Just easy way to do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as usual, peace.